You know why we all love sandwiches? Because we can customize them, they're handheld, and they travel well. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a sandwich that isn't really a sandwich. It's called onigirazu. The onigirazu was invented in a comic book strip. It comes from onigiri, which are these triangularly wrapped rice balls, or actual balls of rice themselves. But this version's less fussy to make, it's more freeform, and because it doesn't really exist in this space-time continuum, you can put whatever you want on them. No rules. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. We'll eat well and save money, because that's what we do. Welcome to Struggle Meals. First thing we have to do is start off with some sushi rice. Sushi rice is a short grain rice that's very, very starchy. That's what makes it all stick to itself. And that's good, because we need structure. Because effectively, the rice is our bread in this dish. So I've rinsed this thoroughly twice. Gonna bring this up to a boil. Add some salt. The onigirazu that I'm gonna make right now is sort of chicken teriyaki inspired. So I've got some chicken thighs here. We're gonna put a little oil in a nice hot pan. Spread it out. I'm gonna hit this with some pepper and salt. We're gonna add some flavor to this. Ginger, garlic, fantastic classic combination. In order to peel the ginger, the spoon is good, kinda gets around all the nubs. Grate the ginger. I don't wanna go straight into the pan with this because these are aromatics, right? And I wanna keep them that way. The longer I cook them, the more they become like fundamental deep flavors. I wanna keep the brightness and the freshness. Garlic, grated. Oh, fantastic aroma's happening right now. All right, rice is boiling, lower, cover. We're gonna add in the garlic and ginger now. They have delicate flavors, so we're gonna lower the heat. All right, let's build a sauce inside of our chicken pan. We're on low heat. We're gonna put in soy sauce. We've got sesame oil. We gotta get some sweetness in here too, so to the packet drawer for some honey. Okay, mixing that all around. My rice is ready. Sushi rice is flavored. We're gonna make the flavoring right now. It's really simple. We start with a bowl and we get sugar and twice as much vinegar. Oh, you know the smell well. This is what flavors the rice. It's not just salty rice, it's salty, zingy, sweet rice. And it's what's gonna make our onigirazu taste amazing. We're gonna make our own sriracha mayo to put on the inside of the sandwich. Mayo coming in and some srirachas. So we get a spicy moisturizer on the inside. Homogeny has been achieved. Avocado, nature's most delicious fatty fruit. There's a giant seed in the middle. Be deliberate, come in, twist, and that should come out. And then if you just smack your knife on the tip here, that'll drop it right off. All right, I'm coming in with a spoon. I'm coming all the way around. Okay. I made a little mistake. But it was a delicious mistake. Now we can just get some really nice slices. We've got everything ready, so let's assemble. We've gotta use some plastic wrap to build this whole thing together. We're gonna grab our nori, we're looking for the shiny side, here it is. We want that to be on the outside, so we're gonna put the shiny side down. I'm gonna measure out half a cup of sushi rice, so we're gonna come right in the middle here. Have a bowl of water nearby, you can dip your fingers into it, and that'll prevent your fingers from sticking to the rice. So now what I wanna do is make a square here, flatten it down a little bit, try to bring in the sides, something like that. Beautiful. Chicken teriyaki coming in like that. Gorgeous. Is there some cucumber on there? some avocado slices. Hit it with some sriracha mayo on top of that. Oh baby, <laughs> this is very exciting. Here we go, a little bit of cilantro on top. Uh, actually, that's a fair bit of cilantro, but I like cilantro. You know, the coolest thing about this is you take this for lunch, I don't know how you can't be excited all day to bite into this. Here we go. We're topping it with rice. Fingers, wet, shape. All right, we're wrapping it up. This is the absolute limit. Go like that here. Come like this here, and this is really what shapes it. So, square, cutting it in half. I'm gonna be super excited when I open up my lunchbox and this is what's greeting me. I'm gonna wrap this again now. We're wrapping this again so that everything stays fresh, but also so that we don't have to bring a giant knife to work. All right, let's pack this guy up, and I am off to work. The moment has come. I've been working on spreadsheets all day and all I wanna do is eat my onigirazu. Oh, greeting me with a smile. 
I'm going to take my napkin out and put it upon my lap. Oh. Ah, I'm getting aromas of salty and sweet and nori. This comes in at $1.69. Please try to find me a lunch that's gonna make you as happy as this for that price. You won't! Oh. Ah, this tastes great, it's perfectly balanced, and it's filling. So I got salty, I got sweet, I've got acid, I got spice. Probably my favorite thing about this sandwich is that I don't have to find a microwave, I can eat it right out of my lunchbox. What a great way to take the customizability of a sandwich and reimagine the whole thing.